Okay, let's see how quick and easy this goes. We're going to go back into Webman and we're going to access that section on SSL and we're going to turn on using the Let's Encrypt for just one of my virtual servers. So let's see what we got. Okay, outsource math came up, no problem. I don't know if that guessed. I it didn't look at Apache because I have I have two. Oh there, there's a nice place to switch it from one of your virtual machines to another. So okay. So let's see. Copy the new key and certificate to Webman. I think I'd rather not. I like to have my Webman separate from everything else, so I just want this key to be the SSL key for um, for that particular web site. Okay, default size. I shouldn't assume, but I'm gonna guess it's like a 1024 size or so. And then let's see. Let's encrypt server real staging. We want the real one. Months between automatically renew. Only renew manually. Uh, I think I will go with 12 months between auto renew. Now, if I run into an error here, uh, what uh, I because I had done it manually before, uh, I just got a renewal notice in the e in my email about this the service needing to renew. The defaults when I did it by the command line interface was uh, I think a one month renewal so I don't know if me requesting a new one before the old one expired for that same URL is going to be a problem but let's, let's just see what happens here okay it tells me where I put stuff Okay, looks like we're all done. Um, it did not ask me something that I thought it might ask me, which was if I wanted uh, if I wanted the whole site or just part of it. Um, see if it does the whole okay it did not by default do the whole site let's see what happens if we all right so that's not uh, that's that didn't go as well as what I recall with um, It, I, that didn't go as well as when I used the command line before. Let's see if it updated Apache. Because when I did it the first time with the command line, it automatically worked on my Apache files. Interesting. I, oh, shit. This video might be scrap. All right, so that didn't work out quite the way I'd planned. So, um, I think in retrospect here it may be easier for you if you're doing it for the first time
to follow the instructions that you find on the Let's, en Let's Encrypt site, which I've linked up in the document if you're watching this video from the right place instead of straight out of YouTube. So um, the document I'm talking about is in the description on YouTube, but if you read the instructions on Let's Encrypt, you will arrive at the CertBot page eventually, and these instructions are fantastic. So I recommend following those instead of using the Webman. So since I've already stepped in it with Webman, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and manually do some of the things that uh, Let's Encrypt does for you. Uh, first off, uh, the one of the normal things that you run into with uh, split systems where all your pages are are served all your pages are served in secure format versus part of your server being secure and part not secure is you typically have a split directory so one thing you can do is make a subdirectory in there you can also have it a completely new directory so I'll just make it where oh did I make a f son of a pistol I did not want to make a file. I wanted to make a folder. So, okay, so now what I'll do is I'll point uh, one other thing I should probably have in there is say, some sort of a default page just to hit. All right, so now I got a page in there. Um, back to servers. So we want to make one new virtual host. You want it to hit your So requests for secure pages will now run into this folder instead. Um, there's some stuff I got to do here too though because SSL, private key, Let's see if I can remember it was it's set. Double webman, I think. So we want the key for the private key file. Oops, I put 
that in the wrong place. This will be easier. Cert. I want the cert there. I believe I want the required. I hope this makes it work right. Alright, so I feel like I should uncheck some of those, but I can't remember which ones, so I'll do it later. served out of one location. Let's see if I go back to HTTPS and then give a reload. Hmm. Oh, you know what I forgot? Much better. Okay, so yeah, this went way better when I did the command line. Doing this went so much better. Um, okay, so oddly, I when I corrected the chain file uh, and I put that index in the the name was the problem so uh, I, I get I got a normal secure page served from that directory that went pretty bad okay so hopefully this goes pretty quick uh, one of the afterthoughts I had once I set up all that stuff uh, using the Webman, uh, I recalled that at the end of using the command line to install my SSL certificates for my virtual server, that there was uh, an indication to go to this Qualsys SLS SSL labs and run server tests. So I'll get back to the server test in a second, but uh, I, I realized that I forgot that when I ran the test, I hit an A minus this time, and uh, the thing I got nicked for was uh, the, uh, very specifically, it's 
does not forward uh, support forward secrecy for reference browsers and uh, searching that you find out that um, what goes on is the they want for an a, a rating they want you to be able to protect communication such that if your private key does get captured somewhere in the future that that you're not exposing every communication that's ever been recorded and is tightly encrypted along the way so it's it's a it's a clever trick so that if somebody was uh, packet sniffing or copying your packets over time they couldn't suddenly get access to your key and encrypt the whole series so so forward encryption is a nice trick so uh, we're gonna put that on here right now so you open your Apache web server and the each one's different in the, like depending on which Linux distribution and so forth uh, how this is gonna go but uh, your some of your instructions will say to do the HTTP D configuration file um, that it, that's not the one that we do here in Ubuntu Linux so what you want to do is get to your SSL config, right? So you're going to edit directives in there. And uh, if you go to the web page where all these videos are collected, right below the video you'll see detailed instructions for this so you don't tr have to try and zoom in on the screen or anything. But uh, so we're going to alter a few of these things here. Let's see. All right, there's the first one my copy paste junk so we want to also we also want to be not MD5 we want cipher suite to not use the a null and not use the MD5 and then um, This next line is, is discussing the specific suites that it should use in order. Uh, so what, uh, what one of the articles outlaying uh, what to do here is saying that you want to make the, uh, the order specific so that it takes the best first and goes down one at a time until their browser and client software can handle the encryption and then you cut it off so that you're not going to use a null you're not going to use e null you're not going to let use load the, and that, none of these are allowed to be used so it so we got that copy and paste in uh, we want to get rid of that hashtag there because that's a comment and we want it to honor the cipher order. Uh, this needs a couple of additions because, oh, and let's see, honor, we want this in here. alternative universe okay so we're adding a couple more we're adding a couple more don'ts to the protocols so what's going to go on here is in the future as Apache updates and you get new protocols it's going to try and use all the newest ones but all these these defunct outdated ones it's not going to use them at all because we've minus them out uh, you'll notice in the comment here SSL v2 is no longer supported but for some reason I'll show you in a second it was still it was still lingering in a in a spot in my virtual host okay here's another thing uh, this is sort of a separate issue we want to get rid of that comment character uh, this is this is a handy thing especially if you're doing uh, multiple virtual hosts 
it'll be able to send the host that it wants to connect with and therefore pick the right uh, security key to communicate with. Uh, and another thing, we're adding these for good measure. These are uh, coming from something that I read on, on the Apache website in their how-tos. And what these are going to do is they're going to look and see if, uh, if a certificate is expired. And it's going to mark it as such and deal with it. So add those to your your configuration file. We're going to save that. We're going to return. Just to make sure that all those edits are workable, we're going to apply the changes. Oh, and we got a syntax error. So what did I do? Call into limited lists. See, man, cipher suite takes one argument. Call into limited list of SSL ciphers. All right, so that could be a good old copy and paste error. So we want to add directives in. Okay, so let's try, oops, let's try getting rid of our quotes and instead we'll start doing a colon delimited list here in a, instead of a space delimited list. So I uh, ran the old copy-paste from one site to another and you get what you get. Alright, that should be reasonably good, colon delimited list. I wonder if the space is a problem. We get the error message again, and then the space is a problem. Let's see if you take it. Okay, maybe this, maybe the space is a problem. Yeah, they're not showing it with any spacing. So let's go get rid of the spaces. Let's see. I should have replaced just for grins and giggles here. Where, um, let's just see what happens. that 
Boom. Okay, so let's see. This my secure socket layer here. Um, see here, these checks. You got your version two still there. Uh, if Apache is not supporting it at all, I'm not sure why the Webman interface would show that as available. Um, and this crappy one. So we're just we're looking at uh, TLS. Actually. Alright, so save, save, reload, and so like I said, SSLlabs.com, uh, they're the people that, that have one of this test your server thing, test your browser, blah blah blah, so uh, I'm going to rerun this test on my server and see how I do. Please wait. This one I can be done with. This is where I was copying and pasting from. See how we had the quotes there? I think these quotes are okay for certain certain versions um, of Apache, but not too good on mine. So 37 complete. Just wait this out. <laughs> Realized that my uh, I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to tell my uh, little webcam to be always on top. I've been uh, <laughs> playing it fast and loose here. I keep talking to the camera, looking at you the viewer. <gasps> I went down to a B. <gasps> Except RC4 Cypher, but only with older protocols. Blow. Wait, wait, wait. What was that again? What was that again? Who did I... I copied that from... Alright, RC4 Cypher, get rid of that. So we want global configuration. So I don't know if this is giving me more street cred here, but uh, you could tell I am just doing this for the first time. We'll do it live for you as I go. Alright, so that's... Let's see how we do. It's funny, I just did a couple of things to improve my security, and instead I unimproved my security. <laughs> That's what you get for not knowing a hundred percent of what you're talking about, and instead trusting blogs on the internet. Must but verify. Didn't I hit the reload button? I didn't hit the reload button.
That's interesting. I don't know if you saw this on the screen, but I asked for a 12 month expiration in uh, the Webman, and it's it's maxed out at a three month. So quarterly you've, is the most you're going to get from them. Still a B? What the? RC4. Okay, let's get rid of the RC4s. There was two different places that I saw to copy from, and I picked the one that seemed to have more instead of less. Alright, so we want to get rid of RC4 ciphers. Bad RC4. Bad, bad. Uh, 256 is there the problem? Well, I wish I knew more about more. I'm just about to go and make it what Apache said to do instead of all this shenanigans.
Bloody hell. Alright, let me just see if doing it the Apache way instead of the other way I was showing you at the start works. So... This is the Apache way. I don't know if that's going to do me a solid, but maybe Apache knows what they're doing more than everybody else. Pretty odd that I'm trying to follow instructions that these guys gave me after nicking me. Yes! Got rid of the A minus. Okay, so Apache's, Apache's instructions, which um, I also link to in that document that I was talking about that's below uh, where the set of web pages that this document is this video should be in so uh, down here is where I got that that other version of it Cypher Suites so um, this uh, this is where I got my uh, things from and then uh, and then I saw this one down here, which I'm not going to use right now, but you might want to. It uh, that you you can set it where where in general your your week for most of the virtual hosts that you're hosting for, and for one specific one that needs high security, you can be really tight by just putting the I not a null, not MD5 inside the virtual host for that one. So uh, that's the end of this this show. I hope I don't remember anything else that I forgot. Okay, uh, real quick, two blunders. One thing that I didn't notice before and I just found out now that my www versus my regular uh, did not work and that's because I should have done this when I was Let's Encrypting. I should have listed all the different versions that I wanted under that same key. So, my mistake. Um, so, I added that in. Uh, I, I did the new key. It lands on the same old key. I uh, restart the Apache server. And, let's see. There you go. Okay, so restarted the Apache server and all is well. So one detail from way back in the earliest part of this video, make sure you put in all your versions that you're going to do under that same fully qualified domain name. Another thing that I discovered uh, in my server test, I had this problem that it uh, the request failed 
and I didn't notice it at the time, but what I had done in my SSL options was I had this set on required, and that was a uh, dumb mistake that you uh, would be a smart thing to do if you only had people that were logging into the pages. So if, if they were going to use a key that they signed in with that was signed by your CA certificate, Author your certificate authority signed their key, then they get to log in fine, and your your encryption goes both ways. But uh, it's got to be something that's not required, optional, or whatever. So, so when I saved that and restarted, then I was able to hit that page, and if I rerun this. I rerun this I'm gonna have this piece die that's funny that you can have, you can have all your security working perfect but not be able to serve the damn page so this should be pretty much the end of it yeah that's a really dumb page to have come up but whatever that's finishing up um, just to make over over make a point here it turns out that high is uh, is a keyword that Apache changes into a series of of protocol suites that that are in the right order already. So that's why that worked so well when I changed it to that. Okay, there we go. So all my error messages have disappeared. Ta-da! That's that's not such a bad rating for uh, somebody that spent zero dollars. So I guess I'm gonna have to find their Patreon page and give these guys.